Contrast that with a Jewish student who called me on a, on a Sunday afternoon at five o'clock. I have to see you immediately, but why? He said, it's an emergency. He walks into my office and he says to me, my father's not Jewish, my mother is. I've discovered that you Jews claim me as a Jew even though I wasn't even raised Jewish. I said, speak to your mother. I had nothing to do with this. <laughs> he said, I am not leaving your office until you excommunicate me. I said, excommunicate you? No Jew has been excommunicated since the great philosopher Spinoza in 1656. He said, but I'm not gonna leave. I said, look, Sunday afternoon and it's late. We rabbis charge $100 for circumcisions. We charge $200 for bar mitzvahs. We charge $300 for weddings and $400 for excommunications. He said, why so steep? I said, it costs more to get out than it does to get in. He asked, he then said to me, do you have a student discount? <laughs> I told him, forget it. That'll open the floodgates tomorrow. Every Jewish student's going to want to be excommunicated. I typed out a certificate and I said, I, Rabbi Shmuley Boteach, hereby excommunicate you and your progeny from the Jewish people for now and evermore. Gave him this worthless piece of paper. And as he walked out, I said, I didn't even charge you in the end, so you have to answer the one question. He turned around and he said, I know the question. Why? Why don't I want to be a Jew? I said, yes, why? And he said, I study history at this university and I have studied how the Greeks philosophized, how the Romans ruled, and how Genghis Khan's hordes conquered, and how the Jews died and died and died. And I knew I would never see him again and I never did. And this was my only chance to leave an impression on the students. So I said to him, you are correct. You have studied about how the Greeks philosophized and the Romans ruled and how Genghis Khan's hordes conquered and how the Jews died. But you read about the Romans and the Greeks. When it came to meeting a Jew, you picked up the phone because I'm still here, because no one can strip me of my dignity, because no one can make me feel like I don't matter, because all the hatred in the world will never be internalized. And you have stripped yourself of your dignity based on other people's rejection, and that we dare never do. So as I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, on this august milestone in your lives, I bless you that as the Lubavitch Rebbe blessed me in that picture that you saw, when I was a boy who had, was crushed by his parents' divorce and felt worthless and felt like I had no dignity, that the two people who brought me into this world didn't want to talk to each other. Maybe I was a mistake. And this rabbi looked in my eyes and I saw in his eyes an infinite sea of kindness and he said to me, you are too young to be a cynic for you will grow to be a source of joy, inspiration, pride and light to your family, your school, and the entire world. May each and every one of you grow to be a source of joy, inspiration, pride, and light to your parents, to this incredible school, Southern Utah University, and indeed to the entire world.